Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about Hubbard & Forge lampshades. We're going to be talking specifically about the lampshade materials. This is the lampshade materials help guide and we'll go over the fabrics that these things are made out of um, and we'll kind of do it in detail. We'll put it on a light bulb too so you'll see light coming in and out. Um, I highly recommend when you have the opportunity on either this lampshade page or if you happen to be watching this on YouTube um, you can go to any of the Hubbardton Forge lamps that you're looking at and you'll have the opportunity to order free swatches of any of these. They come in these little tiny swatches, actually a little smaller than this. They're free, we send them out every day. You just have to click a couple little uh, things on the page and put in your address and, and uh, send it off to us and we take care of it from there. It's much easier to get free samples and you can do what I'm doing. You can put them up in front of lights and see what they look like, you know versus sending lampshades back and forth, which costs a fortune. So that's why uh, samples are free and they're a great idea. So why don't we go um, kind of systematically through the list here. So this is natural linen, and natural linen is kind of a vanilla ice cream linen, nubby linen, so um, it's a cream color. And you'll find this is going to be available only on these conic shades and some drum shades that are on pendants, but you're not going to be able to find it on drum shades for lampshades. Hubbardton can be a bit of a slippery slope as far as you know what's available and what. The pull-down menu on the page of the fixture you're looking at is always going to tell you what fabrics are available. That's going to be really important. So even though you might click on samples to get a whole bunch of things on the same page, the only ones that you can actually order are the ones in that pull-down menu. So natural linen is available on mostly conics and, like I said, drums for pendants. You'll notice that, like on the Exos doubles and those kind of things. Um, it, you'll find it on more traditional table lamps and floor lamps, okay? So this is what it looks like um, with no light coming through it, and that's what it looks like when it, you're going to have it on a lamp, okay? So it, it definitely has a warmer, creamier look to it. Okay, so we'll take that one away. So let's move on to Natural White Anna. So Hubbardton, Hubbardton Forge, I think they just call it Natural Anna. We actually added the white part in the Hubbardton Forge Natural White Anna because it's very white. This is the whitest shade they do. So it's a very fine weave, kind of like a really fine men's shirt, like your, your best Brooks Brothers shirt. And again, very stark white, which a lot of people do need. Um, but again, kind of warms up a bit when the light's on. And it always depends on the light bulb you have in. I have a 2700 Kelvin. That's a 2700 Kelvin um, LED. You know, if you were to put in a whiter LED, these things would change quite a bit, but I'm just kind of doing this with a 2700 Kelvin. So that's on and that's off. So again, natural white Anna is our stark white. Brisk white, we call it all kinds of whites. Uh, flax, flax is gonna be, um, it's a white with a touch of a barley gray to it. Like a, we'll call it a whisper of a barley gray. How's that sound? So it's a it's a it's a white, but it isn't it isn't creamy, and and it's not on the yellower side of cream. It's going to be on the a, a touch of a gray to it to tone it down. So it's a bit more sophisticated. Um, it has kind of these long lines running through it. Um, that's the grain of the fabric. You can see it very pretty. So that's our flax. And doskin. Doskin is a, a microfiber. Okay, you'll notice that it is kind of a tan color. So um, a camel color, a camely tan. So and and oops, sorry. Um, there's actually little lines running on this too. You can't see them, but when you think of uh, doskin or deer skin, like if you have a suede, remember there are like little lines running on suede because that's kind of the folds in the suede. And I've had customers who have got this before who thought that was a mistake, and they're not. That's the whole idea of a, of a microfiber or the, the idea of a, of a suede that you actually have this kind of, um, you know, animal animal skin, but it's not really, obviously. It's, it's a doskin microfiber. Um, man-made material however it does mimic that and we do a lot you know this is forging a lot of the older fixtures are more traditional and they would go into like mountain cabins and log homes and places like that where people were looking for this more rustic look so let's put this on definitely warms up very pretty okay so let's move on to the two new ones that Hubbardton has 
you have a this is the darker gray and this is the lighter gray so these are two brand new ones that Hubbard just came out with um, I'm not sure how to, to describe them other than saying well, one is a lighter gray and one's a darker gray how's that sound so this is the lighter gray and the um, on this piece when I'm looking at it you probably can't tell by looking but the uh, the warp and weft those are those are terms in weaving of the, of the fibers are actually kind of going this way and that way so they're not going up and down so it's again a more sophisticated cooler uh, color okay that's off it's almost like a putty color so think of like a putty a putty gray okay and this is going to be definitely a darker gray so put that on and this is more opaque than that one I don't think you probably you probably can see that and the lines are kind of moving on this one up and up and down so your warp and wefted are going uh, vertical and horizontal so definitely more opaque and definitely a cooler gray um, there are some fabrics that are these composite they're not really I call them fabrics but they're kind of like these plastic composite fabrics and this one actually has cork it's a, a real wood so these are used on like the Mobius and the Karagamis and a few other fixtures um, the frost spun frost on the Mobiuses so you can see see how it, it definitely it's got a stiffness to it so there's uh, composite uh, fabric plasticky kind of thing inside I tend to uh, clean these with just a dry t-shirt and I just dust them because it's just so much so easy but this is a, a white so think of like basically snow so and I'm in Vermont and trust me like half the year it's snowing so this is basically what it is um, let's put it on so you know it warms up when a light is coming through and, and, and it lets a lot of light through okay so this is the spun amber and to me this is kind of the color of honey or um, maple syrup how's that so that warms up quite a bit it's a bit more organic it's a lot warmer and then last but not least is going to be our friend cork and the cork actually is uh, like sliced cork on both sides of the plastic in the middle that's all adhered together so it's it's a it's a beautiful piece actually and I've seen this on drum shades where I actually own them in, in our showroom we have one where it definitely has a wooden feel to it so if you're looking for this kind of wooden feel you're not gonna be able to get it on any of the shades for table lamps and floor lamps just on the pendants okay it's not awesome so it definitely has that that look of wood so something to think about um, so that's it so um, obviously you can see all these in our showroom we have 300 things on display from Hubbardton Forge and these are all over the place um, and again feel free to order samples so sam free samples are your best friend they really get you out of a jam so that's it so thanks for stopping in uh, if you can like this video check out all of our YouTube videos if you can and our finishes help guide video is a good one um, and visit our showroom if you can too thanks a lot have a great day take care bye bye